very sad story. We have an update, put it up for a mass, 19 year old black female. Her leg found following the first date with a man, her body dismembered per law and crime, Milwaukee County. Prosecutors on Friday charged 33 year old Maxwell Anderson on the right with first degree intentional homicide, mutilation of a corpse and arson of property other than a building. The Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office said he's accused of killing 19 year old Sade Carlina Robinson on the left. After a first date together, Anderson allegedly dismembered her body, dumped the remains in Lake Michigan, and later torched Robinson's car to hide the evidence of this extreme crime. Anderson is at the Milwaukee County Jail on a $5 million bond. The Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office also had to dispel recent rumors. The suspect was free on bond and scolded the public in a postal X. Maxwell remains in custody on a $5 million bail, spreading otherwise an insanely irresponsible, not to mention um, false narrative. Uh, so Robinson's mother, um, her name is Sheena, Sheena Scarborough. Sheena told reporters, after Anderson's first appearance in court on Friday, that he is a sick son of a bee. Saying further, who the would do something like this to my beautiful baby? She hurt nobody. She harmed nobody. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. The investigation began April 2nd, when someone found a human leg in the water of Warnemont Park in Wisconsin. A joint investigation between the sheriff's office and the Milwaukee police determined that Robinson's family reported her missing the day before when she failed to show up for work. Per the criminal complaint, Anderson and Robinson for the, uh, met for the first time on April 1st to go on a date. Detectives also obtained text messages of the two planning their date earlier on April 1st. Surveillance video also shows them at a downtown Milwaukee restaurant and bar before leaving and driving in Robinson's Honda Civic to Anderson's home around 9.30 PM. An app on Robinson's phone shows it left Anderson's home shortly after midnight on April 2nd and later travels to the park where her leg was found. Surveillance video from the park shows a Honda Civic ramming through a gate around 3 a.m. and someone going down to the water several times before leaving around 4.30 a.m. Around 7.30 a.m., the Milwaukee Fire Department responded to a vehicle fire. Investigators later determined it was Robinson's Honda. The affidavit states, cops, Recovered surveillance video from a bus showing Anderson get on a bus near where the vehicle was torched and ride to a stop near his home. So he caught the bus after dis dismembering the body. Got to think about how wild this is. On April 6th, the city police found a foot and human flesh not far from the burned out Honda. The foot and the leg confirmed to belong to Robinson. A search of Anderson's home found blood on a bedroom and on the walls leading to the basement. Authorities said in the basement, investigators found a sex dungeon, reported local ABC affiliate WISN, citing anonymous law enforcement sources. Detectives are still trying to track down all of the body parts, authorities said. Per TMJ4 News, Robinson's cousin, Ki Yiana, stated family and friends were now taking it upon themselves to find Robinson. The cousin pleaded, quote, we need the public to come out and help. We need a lot more feet on the ground because we have a lot more ground to cover. Robinson's phone was pinged at several different locations that night and morning after her disappearance. The locations included Anderson's home, Pleasant Valley Park, Kern Park and then the park, 
Kern Park was noted multiple times. The golf course was noted multiple times. Robinson was close to earning an associate's degree in criminal justice at Milwaukee Area Technical College and also considered joining the US Air Force. A mother told the Journal Sentinel, quote, her whole life was so ahead of her. She was so amazing, so amazing, so beautiful, such a beautiful angel. Everywhere she went, people just admired my baby, end quote. What a sad occasion. What a sad, sad occasion. Obviously, the family was aware that something was wrong. They reported her missing before it was even time for her to go to work. Um, she did not show up for work. Uh, authorities got more involved. And the evidence was there. The evidence was plentiful uh, from surveillance to actual forensics. Uh, we are glad that the individual who did this, um, the alleged individual is caught. Um, but my goodness, the, in, the extreme insensitivity to be able to do that to another human being without thinking about the divine nature of humanity, the value of life, the connectedness we have to each other and the connectedness that person has to their family. All right, wise the thoughts here. Uh, just really sad. My heart goes out to the family uh, when they have to consider what the last moments of this young woman's life entailed, uh, the pain associated with that, the horror. It's, it's unimaginable, honestly. To know that your family member did something as innocent as go out on a date with a guy um, and ended up having her body chopped up into pieces and discarded in a lake as if, you know, she were nothing, uh, like she was a piece of garbage. It was just terrible to consider. Obviously, we hope the authorities get this guy and nail him to a cross. Yep. Um, and, and you know, the thing, that, the thing that sticks with me the most, honestly, Dr. Richie, is when we do speak to of the females or women that are close to us in our life. And they talk about the constant fear that they live of, um, yeah. of other men who might, you know, want to kidnap them or hurt them or do terrible things to them. You know, you hear stories all the time, but women would be like, look, man, on a first date, I don't tell a guy where I live. We meet in a neutral place. I don't know if this guy's a stalker. I don't know if this guy is some level of serial abuser. Just the, these things that we take for granted as men, just your general safety in stepping into a first date with the stranger that women have to deal with every single day of their lives, it's unimaginable. Um, and this being the worst possible outcome in that situation, it's horrible to think about, man. Yeah, very well said. We will bring updates as adjudication happens.